Hi everyone, welcome to the March 1st edition of Weather for Weather Geeks, the first Weather for Weather Geeks of spring 2024, meteorological spring anyway, the months of March, April, and May. And as we've closed the book on winter, I encourage you, if you didn't watch last evening's video, check out last evening for a full review of the winter forecast, where it was good, where it wasn't so good, and uh, a look at uh, what we expect in the spring season. Watch that video on YouTube. Go to my weather blog, ericwfmj.com, also to uh, read up on my thoughts on both the winter and spring seasons. The final numbers for winter, a uh, 36 degree average when you count highs and lows, and that's good for second place on the list of warmest winters on record, only trailing 1931-32. It was even warmer than last year. Last winter was 35 degrees, and we were a full degree warmer than that this year. This includes two months that were remarkably warm, December and February. December, the second warmest on record for our area, just trailing 2015. February ended up being in the top five for warmest Februarys on record uh, at uh, 36.7. This trailed last year just barely by about a half of a degree, and 2017 remains number one. Look how many recent years are on this list of warmest Februarys. All right, now that we're into springtime, um, this is a season that has not changed as much in recent years as winter, of course. Our winters have been warming fairly rapidly, uh, given uh, what's happened just in the last handful of years, but even longer-term trends. Even though we had a couple of cold winters last decade, overall the trends have been towards warmer winters in the last 10 or 15 years. Spring, though, while it is warmer than it used to be, uh, not quite as much as winter. And actually, spring is the second war, uh, second fastest warming season in our area, trailing winter, and but ahead of summer and autumn. It's interesting that autumn really has not changed quite as much as the other seasons. All right, back here on this first evening of March and meteorological spring. Radar, yeah, the bark is a little worse than the bite out there this evening. Uh, we have some rain trying to push in, but... This is manifesting itself right now as I record this video in sprinkles and real light rain in a lot of spots. This is fighting some dry air. I mean, the air mass overhead has been very dry today. Dew points here in the 7 o'clock hour are mostly in the lower and middle 20s locally. Notice it gets, you know, those numbers get higher as you go off to the south and west. The atmosphere is going to moisten up uh, this evening and overnight, and rain will have no trouble reaching the ground for the vast majority of the night. It's not rain, but it's snow. That's the big story out west. Maybe you've seen some stories about this. This is a, a doozy of a storm impacting uh, the Intermountain West and the Sierra Nevada Mountains in California. No surprise that blizzard warnings are out in many locations. My snow color bar only goes up to 48 inches. It doesn't stand a chance. There's going to be some places in the high Sierras. That's the big you know, mountain range in California right here. Um, there's going to be some places that get 8, 9, 10 feet of snow over the next handful of days. Travel will be absolutely impossible. Um, and so, again, while our color bar here only goes up to 48 inches, there's going to be some places in here that might end up with 100 inches of snow in the next handful of days. Pretty astronomical stuff out west. Thankfully, nothing like that around here, but it is going to be a damp Friday night and Saturday morning. Some light rain pushing through. This is all with an area of low pressure that is a weak one. It's scooting up the eastern seaboard. It's not a big player in the grand scheme of things, but it's going to be enough to kick up some light rain and some drizzle tonight into our Saturday morning. We've upped our rain chances for Saturday morning, so even the first few hours of daylight Saturday morning can be damp with some light rain and some drizzle, and then we're just left with clouds for the afternoon. We've removed any hope of some afternoon uh, sunshine in our area for Saturday afternoon. It's going to be kind of a gloomy day overall. I do think the clouds will hang around into Sunday morning, but I think Sunday afternoon will turn brighter and better as we get into the 60s, and that's one heck of a warm front lifting off to the north, and this will be the warmest air mass of 2024 so far for us coming our way on Monday. In fact, we'll be challenging a record Monday afternoon. Now, of course, you know if you've been paying attention to long-range forecasts uh, and medium-range forecasts that we expect mild weather to continue for much of the first half of March. A colder day here and there, yes, but generally a very mild pattern. It's also going to be a pretty active pattern, I think, for the next week to 10 days or so, with several chances of probably not much white uh, stuff, but uh, chances of rain uh, elevated uh, next week, especially during midweek and maybe again next weekend. And here's the 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center today. Also, a lot of green on this map. This is a pretty active storm track coming in off the Pacific and storms just coming across the country. Not much cold air to be tapped, so this isn't going to be a, a real snowy pattern for anyone except for the Intermountain West. But yeah, I think we're going to see plenty of chances for raindrops in the near term. Now, you know, if you watched my video last evening or read up on my spring thoughts on my weather blog last evening, uh, I do think there are risks as we get deeper into spring for drier weather to take over. 
and there are risks that that continues into the summer season or you know hoping that isn't the case that wouldn't be great if we had a dry summer after a dry spring but it's possible it's quite possible that that uh, ends up being the case it's also possible we have a pretty hot summer so again eric wfmj.com is my weather blog and of course you can watch every edition of weather for weather geeks going back years and years on my youtube channel if you're not uh, subscribed to my youtube channel head over there and click subscribe uh click on uh, notification settings and make sure you get notified anytime i post a new video just like this one thanks for watching tonight and all week long have a great weekend everyone i will see you right back here on monday